Yo, what up, YouTube? Crash Wilcox. Is V Cup Pro worth the monthly subscription? Long story short, <laughs> no, not even close. Are you kidding me? $20 a month? It is not worth the subscription. So if that's all you came here for, please do me a favor, smash that like button, smash that subscription button on your way out the door. I would certainly appreciate it. For the rest of you that want to know a little bit more about what V-Cut Pro has to offer, stick around. That's what we're going to get into. So before we dive into the phone, I just want to give you my few quick thoughts on the subscription piece. So like I mentioned, it's $20 a month. Um, and oh, also everything that you're seeing here was recorded in V-Cut Pro. So it has a video recorder, you know, you can take screenshots and all sorts of stuff, whatever. So that's nice. The video you see is being done inside of V-Cut Pro, but it's $20 a month. And all they give you is a three day trial, a free trial before that $20 a month subscription kicks in, which I think $20 a month for an app is outrageous almost for any app. I can't imagine an app that I would need that I'd pay 20 bucks a month for. But if you were going to pay 20 bucks a month, I feel like something a little bit longer than three days, maybe, you know, seven days, 30 days. I mean, even give us a month free. I mean, that's a steep price to pay. I'm sure there's a reason why I only do three days is because they can try to hook you for a month. But you know, most people probably don't even get a real chance to dive into an app in three days. Maybe you make one video and whatever. So uh, not great there, but also, you know, for 20 bucks a month, you can get the entire Adobe Creative Cloud if you're a student. And I mean, that's Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, I mean, that's everything. So 20 bucks a month is too steep in my opinion. So there you have it. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead, jump into this phone, and uh, actually take a look at what the app has to offer. So just so you know what I'm working with, it's a OnePlus 6T Android. I'm not sure if this is an iOS app as well, but we're doing it on Android. So there you have it. Let's get into this phone. All right, so here we are on the home screen. When you download VCut Pro and you open it up, this is what you're gonna see. Really simple layout, which I'm a fan of. They keep it clean. I can appreciate that. So just looking at the screen right here, you come up to the top right corner, you got your settings, nothing fancy here. So all you got, you know, your hardware acceleration, pretty standard stuff. Um, again, not very deep into the settings or anything like that. And then the little crown right next to it, this is what you get for your 20 bucks a month and what you will also get to experience during the free trial. So 1080p HD exports, that's nice. A thousand plus VIP effects and materials, which is we'll get into here, but I'm assuming that's what they use to justify the $20 a month. No ads. I'm a big fan of that. And then uh, you'll get updates and cancel whenever you want. So that's that down here. This is the material center, the thousand plus a month sort of thing that you or a thousand plus add ons essentially that you can get. And these are nice. These are certainly um, a nice touch to the app, but I'm not juxtaposing this to any other video editing app on Android. So this may not be all that substantial. You'd have to judge that for yourself, but these are nice. So you can just download any of them that you want. So these are themes that you can add to your video. You can see the red pluses are the ones that I've downloaded already, but they got themes. They got music you can download. Uh, different textiles, which is nice. And there's a lot of them to choose from. Um, different filters. You got your transitions. You got your stickers, effects. And lastly, sound effects. And there's a lot of everything. So, and I'm a big fan of the layout. I mean, just like the main screen, these screens are real simple. It is what it is. No, uh, no guessing about what you're getting here. So I certainly appreciate that. But then coming back in here, the My Studio and the editor kind of click to get into either one. It's just going to pull up kind of the videos that you have, and then you can mess with them from there. I like going to the My uh, Studio and just hitting Create Now, and then you can just grab a video, pull it down here. This is your little media file down here. Click Next. We'll go ahead and pause that. And then, again, 
maintaining that same theme of just real simple. So again, I'm a big fan of the layout, not a fan for 20 bucks, but I am a fan of the layout. So here goes those themes that we talked about you can download. And again, they're real simple to use. Just click on it. Boom. That's fancy. And then going back here, yeah, let's discard that. That's a travesty. Your trim, so this is, we'll go back real quick. This is one of the downfalls of this app, the major downfalls. I have not been able to find, and I'm certain that they don't have, an actual like cut tool where you can just drag to a certain point in the video and cut. So the only thing that I've been able to find is this trim tool, which you have to clip or you have to click and then you essentially have to like basically trim both sides of your video. So if you want to like, you know, take out a certain portion of video here in the middle, you're going to basically have to like trim this out and then re-add the same video again and then trim out the extra pieces around it. So, you know, there's no like nice cut tool where you can just sort of cut these different little scenes out that you don't want. You sort of have to longhand it which is kind of a pain. Um, but outside of that, music volume, whatever, you can mess with the music in there. Stickers, like we talked about, again, really simple to use. Just click on it. Uh, let's grab some hearts, throw them up there. And then when you play it, boom, you got your hearts. Looks nice. You can change the speed of your video really simply as well. That's nice. So again, that same theme carries throughout everything in here. Um, your background, your text. So if you want to add text in here, you can just drop that in. Check it out. Yeah, listen to the video. It won't steer you wrong. And then there's your effects. Same thing, you're just going to click on them. You got your filters, you can rotate. And then your zoom, which again, really easy to use. So, oh, and then uh, let me just click on this again. Go back in here. So like I talked about, you can take your, your pictures and you can do your video recording in here. One of the negatives, though, on here, it only shoots in 1280 by 720. That's the best resolution it can shoot in. So if this video looks terrible, that's why. You know, this can, uh, the phone that I have, the OnePlus 6T, can shoot 4K 60 FPS. So only being able to shoot 1280 by 720 uh, is pretty disappointing in my opinion. But that's the app. You know, I may do a deep dive on some of these other things later on, but this is just a simple overview. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, please take that second to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll try to have maybe some more of this stuff. I'm always looking for new software and stuff like that to kind of dabble in and, and you know, show off to the, the people out there. So there you have it, man. God bless.